welcome back. Today we are doing a 15 minute total core workout. For this workout, you don't need any equipment besides yourself, a little bit of space, and a soft surface such as an exercise mat or yoga mat beneath you because we are on the ground for the entirety of this workout. I will link the exercise mat that I use in the description down below. The way that this workout is going to be structured is it is a 15 minute workout. We're going to do two sets total and within those sets there are three supersets. So the way that these supersets are going to go is we have two exercises. We're going to do exercise one for 30 seconds, exercise two for 30 seconds, exercise one for 30 seconds, exercise two for 30 seconds, and that is a complete superset. Then we'll take a 15 second break. So there's gonna be three of those guys in one set. And then after those supersets, we're going to do 45 seconds of what I like to call hollow holds. I'm not sure if this is the exact name for this exercise. It's just what I like to call it. But basically you're gonna come up into a bridge like so, and then you're gonna come through without your butt touching the floor, holding yourself up and pressing through. And come back and pressing through. I love this exercise. It's such a great way to really fire up the core. So we're gonna do 45 seconds of that after our 15 second rest of our third superset. Then after those 45 second hollow holds, we're going to repeat everything once again for our second set totaling 15 minutes. I'm gonna quickly go over the exercises that we're going to do in each set just so you guys have an idea so that we can just get right into it. Our first set of two exercises is we're gonna come on our back, we're gonna do some toe touch crunches. So arm and leg extended, we reach up and meet in the center, back down, up. So we'll do 30 seconds on one leg, then we're gonna move into our second exercise, which is what I call a double bicycle. So we're gonna do just a regular bicycle, but you're gonna hold here, extend your leg, bring it back up, and then switch, extend, and switch, and then we'll go right into the other side of our toe touch crunch. Then we'll go into our double bicycle, 15 second rest, moving into set number two, which is some Russian twist crunches. So you're going to lay down, you're gonna come up and twist, bringing that knee, squeezing, getting your hands right beside your hip. Maybe I should do it this way for you guys. Coming up, squeezing, hands right beside your hip, and then back down. And again, we're gonna to stick to one leg for 30 seconds, and then we'll switch when we do it the second time around. And then our second exercise for our second set is some side oblique crunches with a reach. So we're gonna reach up, squeeze, 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 and come back down, hip barely touches the floor, squeeze, and back down. And then finally, our third set of exercises is we're going to do some L switch legs. So we're gonna come here, legs come in an L position, L, we come down to meet in the center, open, close, open, close, open, close, and then our second exercise that we're going to do is a Reverse crunch with the leg drop, so legs come up, we drop, we bring in, extend, and up. Drop, in, extend, and up. For a more beginner version of this exercise, you can just do regular reverse crunches, keeping the knees bent and touching the, the toes on the floor in between. So reverse crunch, and down. Crunch, and down. So then after that set, we'll go into our 45 seconds of hollow holds, and then we'll repeat that all again. All right, so just make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along, you've got a little bit of space, and you got your mat beneath you, and without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, we are starting off with our finger to toe crunches, starting with one leg, coming on the ground, we're going to reach up, and meet our fingers to our toes in the middle and come back down. Here we go. Really focus on pressing the small of your back into the floor as you meet your fingers and your toes together in the center. Going into our double bicycle right away. Here, extend and switch.
We're gonna go into the other side of our fingers to toe crunches. So make sure you switch arms and legs.
into those reverse crunches. Here we go. Right after this, we are going right into our toe touch crunches. No 15 second rest after this. Right into round two. Getting ready. Here we go. And if your back is not making farting noises on your mat, that means you haven't started sweating yet. That means you're not pressing your lower back into the floor. Really reach for those toes. Going into our double bicycle right away. Here we go. Going 
bring the right into our left side. So lifting the right, their left leg, and hands come to the right hip. Thumbs up for me and letting me know 
how you did in the comments down below. If you found this workout to be a little bit too advanced for you, don't stress over it. This will be something that you could definitely work up to, but also be sure to check out some of my other ab workouts and I'll also link my beginners playlist in the description down below so hopefully you can find something that better suits your level. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout and I hope you guys have a beautiful day ahead of you. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe and you turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another workout from me and I will see you guys next time. Bye!